Well, new at five, just a heartbreaking story out of South Carolina involving a newly married couple hit by a drunk driver while the bride and groom were leaving their wedding reception. The bride, Samantha Miller, was killed in that crash. Incredibly sad. The groom, Eric Hutchinson from Utah, was badly hurt. Brian Schnee is joining us live in the studio. And Brian, you spoke with Eric's childhood friend about this. Well, I did. Really hard to put this into words. For myself uh, and for many, you're included. Uh, rather, your wedding night is, is really supposed to be one of the best nights of your life. But this specific incident is just horrific. Last Friday night in Folly Beach, South Carolina, the couple left their wedding reception, still in their wedding outfits. They were in a side-by-side -side driven by family members. That's when a driver crashed into them. According to a GoFundMe post written by Eric's mother, the driver hit them while driving 65 miles per hour in a 25 mile per hour zone. The post also mentioned the side by side rolled several times with nearly 100 yards after impact. The bride, Samantha, died from her injuries. Eric has had numerous surgeries and he lost his wife on his wedding night. Who could imagine the love of your life on your wedding night and then that when you see something like this with Eric, I mean, my childhood best friend, you just want the world to, to think, man, it's so senseless, so tragic, so stupid. Even for the person who killed Samantha, I mean, she's going to have to live with that the rest of her life and probably face 12 to 20 years in prison. And, you know, she's had other issues in the past. And it's just, why? Why, why do you do this? The driver seen here identified as Jamie Komorowski in her mid-20s faces three counts of felony DUI resulting in injury or death. The two family members driving the bride and groom that night are from Morgan, Utah. They were both injured as well. Eric graduated from Bonneville High School in the Ogden area, played football for Snow College and Utah Tech. Now, this GoFundMe was set up by family members. It's raised a good chunk of change so far. It will help pay for Sam's burial and for medical costs for Eric and his family. You can find this link on our website, KUTV.com. Live in studio tonight, Brian Cheney, KUTV2 News.